Hi, my name is John Gibbons, I'm a sports osteopath, and today I'm going to demonstrate how to apply kinesiology taping using Rock Tape brand for an ankle inversion sprain. So imagine you've gone over on your ankle and then it feels unstable. If you're in a game of football, you're in a game of rugby, so I'm not being able to run, then I can show you with a piece of tape how we can stabilize. I've already prepared the tape. How did I measure this? I went from the inside of the ankle, this bone here, which is called the medial malleolus or the distal tibia, to the lateral malleolus and we roughly took that measurement. I mean, we've done two of them, and we've got a slightly smaller strip. I'll show you that in a second. First of all, what we're gonna do is split the tape an inch or so at the end, and apply that, try not to touch this very often, and apply that to the distal part of the tibia here, just above that bone, and stick that down with no stretch. Lock it, peel it back, and again, no stretch, or a very small amount of stretch, and just lay that down to the corner of the foot. And then what we're going to do, we need to turn the foot over now. And then, this is the ligament called the ATFL. This is the CFL, so that's anterior tailor fibular ligament. This is the calcaneum. So have the foot slightly everted. Peel back the tape to the last square. Lock it down, and then we can apply 100% stretch. 50%, 25%, 75 So we can vary, depending on how much stability we want. In this case, I'm going to go 100, 50 to 75, and lay that down. Mold it around the malleolus. So I've covered mainly the ATFL. The second tape, <coughs> I'm going to split the center and cut it so it looks like two equal fingers. So this would be known as a Y strip. Rather than going to the first uh, inch or so at the end, I'm going to leave a little bit of distance, you'll see why in a sec. And then round each of the ends, because when you apply the tape to the skin, and then you go put your socks on, shoes on, you can leave the tape on for three to five days. So we want to not have any corners, because if you have a corner, it will appeal, and if it appeals, it lifts, and you might as well take it off. Split each of the fingers. So there's one, and there's two. And then you can peel that back, but don't quite take that off yet, otherwise it'll contact the acrylic. Lay that down, almost the same as the first piece of tape, like that. And then you've got each of the fingers. Just lay that down, so it's slightly anterior. And the second one, so lay that down so it's slightly posterior to the tape, so the first piece of tape. So you can see the, the, the logo in between. Turn it over, and then what we're going to do now is the first piece of tape, it's a bit fiddly, but it's okay. Just peel that back there. Peel it back to the end, E version, ATFL ligament, 100% stretch, 50 to 75, depending on what stability you want. Cover the ATFL, and then you can mold onto the first piece of tape. So that's covered the ATFL. The second piece of tape, I'm going to apply, just get rid of that crease. E version, 100, 50 to 75, mold it to the CFL, the calcaneal fibular ligament, and then there's no stretch. I'm just going to mold that in there like so. And then rather than heat activating, I'm going to leave that just for a second. The next piece of tape, if you decide to use the third piece, will go transversely. This one has a squares on the back. So I'm going to peel one square, apply it to the medial ligament, which is the deltoid, and it's split into many fibers. Peel it back, but no stretch, just lay it down, just towards the Achilles. Turn the foot over, and what I'm going to do with this tape is about 50 to 75, with an everted position, just literally mold it along the ATFL, and no stretch at the end, and mold it out. Back of the tape, three or four seconds, heat activate the whole of it so it makes it potentially a bit more adhesive to the body. And then we have kinesiology tape for an ankle inversion sprain. And then we can vary how much tension we have on the tape, just stick that bit down. My name is John Gibbons. My company is called johngibbonsbodymaster.co.uk if you want to learn how to utilize some of these techniques.